What's up? What's up? Staying consistent. Staying consistent. I'm not going to lie. I got to make sure that I keep in mind that I'm not going to be making a whole, like a whole long series of the flowers project that I'm doing. I'm only going to be making four physical copies. It's only going to be four physically, meaning that I'm going to be painting them and then put, you know, putting acrylic paint, putting some pastels, maybe even mixing up, maybe like put a little bit of tape or something like that. And then the next four will be done digitally. So that will be, you know, done however way that I want to do that, which I don't know yet. Cause I, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't thought about it all the way just yet, but I do know that the total is going to be eight. I just haven't really figured it out on the digital part yet. So I'm just trying to get the physical stuff down so that I can finally get to the digital work, which will be coming pretty soon. I think that I said it before when it comes to being an artist, you are constantly thinking about things. So when it comes to projects, especially ones that you are really, really passionate about, you got to stay on top of it. Like you really have to. Because if you're anybody like me and your cranium is always moving, then it's like an idea can be here today and gone tomorrow. So you just got to stay on top of it. You just got to stay on top of it. So for the flowers project that I'm working on, I want to keep a consistent color or at least colors going. I think that color is definitely either going to be the blue or the red. Now, again, I'm not gonna think about it too much because at the end of the day, I'm an abstract artist. So I don't really think about it at all, if I'm if I'm being honest. But I'm pretty sure that the consistent colors is definitely gonna be a red or blue, or even both, because both can definitely be a thing. Two things can be right at the same time. And so right now, what I'm doing is I'm just getting the strokes down, putting some little lines on there. I wanted to make it resemble more like bushes, if that makes sense. But I know it's not gonna come out like bushes. I, I already know that, and that's okay too, because at least I tried. But if I'm being honest, after all of the stuff that I've been working on, I think this one is coming out pretty well. I mean, I actually like the process of this one. And I also really like the results that came out. I mean, granted, you know, it ain't gonna be for everybody, but I enjoyed it. And that's all that matters. So from the last art groceries that I did, I went to go get these oil pastel um, crayons from Five Below and <laughs> they are really good. They've been lasting me for a minute now and I've been using them for most of the projects that I've been working on and I have really have been enjoying them. So if you ever go and get you some art groceries and you wanna get you some oil pastels, go to Five Below. I just put you on. You're welcome. Anyways, we are just about to close to being done. Um, so now I'm just putting a few touches in there, making sure to put a little bit of dots in there to make them look like flowers. And also too, I had to make sure to write down that it is flowers three, cause it's, yeah, it's, it's flowers three. And after writing the title, I am done. And this is flowers three. Once again, thank you so much if you made it all the way this far. And you know, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that like button. And yeah, thank you again.